So our guest today is an award-winning, chart-topping, Grammy-nominated artist who has been letting us love him for almost 20 years. Let's welcome Mario into the mix, y'all. What's going on, Mario? What's up? What's up, everybody? I've been letting y'all love on? me. What up? Hey, yeah. y'all. <laughs> Thanks for getting into the mix with us. We are so excited to have you here today yeah. with us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Love and the energy. Mario, me and you both was part of the Empire family. You know, before I ask, like, how was that experience? I got to tell y'all, this is somebody. I give people their roses when they come on this show. And I've actually, you you know, every time, young career, when I was, I remember I was probably like 11 years old. I told my dad, uh -huh. somebody in this movie with me. And everybody's like, who's another young heartthrob out there? And all the girls were screaming, Romeo, get Mario in the movie. All my sisters, my cousins, man. I was like, get Mario. And we hit Mario, and I'll never forget this. Kind of like the rock story I told y'all. He literally, after one call, him and his people was like, we're going to do it. I remember he was on tour and every day, and he came and showed mm -hmm. did a cameo in me and my pop's movie, Uncle P. And from there, it's just always been love. This dude worked his butt off. He's made a lot of history. And I just Appreciate don't think. You, man. Roses really like you should. So we want to give you your roses right here on the mm -hmm. mid. Deserve it. You're a yes. hell of a more than just a hell of an artist, but you're a hell of a person too, man. For Yo, I appreciate that, bro. You know, we go back. So I appreciate that. And I respect what y'all doing right now for this generation. You know, the concept that y'all talking about on the show, where y'all started at, you know, it's just to have that variety, educating people as well. Like we need that. This is a beautiful platform. But um, yeah, man, you know, listen. I started in B more, man. I'm a, I'm a young kid from B more at heart, you know, but it's the city that, that keep me thriving, you know, so shout out to my hometown, B more. Shout out to my fans who tuning in right now too, from the Grand Mario Worldwide, you already know. Um, but man, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be here. It's yeah. a blessing to be here. Too. All the fans out there from B more, salute to y'all for real. Absolutely. Well, man, it's the sweet 16th anniversary of your number one song, Let Me Love You. And Neo was actually the co-writer of that song. And I read that your song uh, was his first American number one hit. Now he, he was a fantastic guest on the show. Neo is like full of energy, dog. He's super mm -hmm. great guy. How was it working with Neo? Man, Neo is amazing. He, um, he came to Miami while he was working with Scott Storch and he was just writing 10 songs a day, five, 10 songs a day, going back to back with it, really just <laughs> tapping into the vibe and we had never met each other before. So he's trying to get a sense of who I was. And at the time it was like, I knew who he was, but I didn't. I didn't know him as a writer. I didn't know him as an artist. So for me, it was just about tapping into the energy of Miami, what we were doing. So we did a couple of records, tapped back in two weeks later, came in, did some more. And then one day he came in and played Let Me Love You. And it was just, I had never sung a record like that before. You know, it was something that was raw, it was one vocal all the way through. It wasn't a lot of back end tracks. It was just more about the mm -hmm. concept of connecting with a woman in a way that I've never sung it before. So mm -hmm. it was, um, for me, it was really powerful because I never experienced love before like that. So it was like, okay, do I have the actual content? Do I have the, um, the references to sing this song? You know what I mean? He was older than me. So it was like, for him, he was probably writing about somebody that he been with or whatever. Um, so I just went to the studio and just took my passion, went in there and knocked it out. And the producer, the actual the engineer, he lost the whole session to the whole song, like the next day. So we had to redo the record. It was crazy, but uh, Neo definitely came through. Wow. Can I just say that Let Me Love You will always be such an iconic song. And you don't know how many times I, when I was younger, I asked for money at Waffle House. Y'all know Waffle House is the spot. <laughs> just to put on Let Me Love You, like That's I needed crazy. a dollar. I got to put on Let Me Love You while I eat this waffle. Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> while I eat this waffle. <laughs> like, it was serious. No, it. It's <laughs> a this blessing to have those type of records that connect through mm -hmm. generations. You know, yeah, it's like I've traveled the world seriously. doing this music and that song, I mean, I've heard people who don't even speak English sing it. I've, yeah. People have requested me to come sing it at weddings. I don't really sing at weddings like that, but when you have music like that, that people want to share their most vulnerable moments with, it's like, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? And it, it keeps me going. It keeps me realizing that R&B is going to live forever. It's something that will never die. So all that talk about R&B dead, R &B, nah, it's never dying. As long as I'm alive, it's going to always be it. 
period. Well, you dropped um, this past October, you dropped a new EP. So why did you decide to call it Closer to Mars? So many reasons. It's, it's a loaded answer. I mean, my name means Mars in Latin. A lot of people don't know that. But um, okay. also it was like during this quarantine process, it was so much time with myself. I just came off a tour. I just came off of doing Empire. I was traveling a lot and then everything just stopped. And so it was like, wow, like what am I outside of music? Who am I outside of this person? This, this man that y'all know is Mario and, and this artist, these songs, whatever, like finding myself and really tapping into my shamanism, tapping into my roots, tapping into my um, ethereal purpose outside of just music, you know? So for me, I always, I want to attach things that are rooted in um, things that we can't always see, but we feel them. You know, mm -hmm. so for me, when I thought about Closer to Mars, it was like me getting closer to myself, but also bringing my fans on this journey with me. You know, I directed the video for Mars as well as Pretty Mouth Magic. And I really just wanted to create an experience for people um, that would be classic and, and unique. I was hoping to be on tour by now, obviously, out of this quarantine shit, but, you know, we're going we gonna to do it, do it either way. Man, that's, a, that's a hell of an analogy right there. Like, yeah, it is. I yeah, love that. You're becoming closer to yourself. And I think that's something we've all experienced during this, this lockdown. It's like literally at Bible study this past Sunday, the message was, what will you be known for? Who, right. who are you truly? Like, who are you? Right. I think we know, exactly. but it's, it's so much. It's so deeper than what we know because when we're here, we just live life and it's just go, go work. Go be successful. And you never get that time to just sit back and be like, who am I really though? What's my purpose? So right. I'm and what makes you happy? Like what truly makes you happy? Because it's like, <clears throat> of course, surviving and, and getting accolades from our peers and having money in the bank and all of that, that's cool. But what makes you happy? What connects you? How do you see God in your life outside of success? You know, um, how are you affecting other people? You know, what, how is your art affecting other people? outside of just, you know, you receiving the accolades, right? So those are all the things that I had time to kind of think about. I started writing my book, uh, Life in Exchange, well, actually finishing my book, Life, is, uh, Life in Exchange. And um, it's even more powerful now that I had this time to really dive into what the purpose of the book is and how I want it to affect people and how I'm using it as therapy for myself. You know what I'm saying? So when I think about Closer to Mars, it's not just the music. It's the culture, my own personal culture, my own personal space, my own personal purpose. You know what I'm saying? But then you got, I, I mean, I love R&B. So it's like, of course, I wanted to have conversations with women through the, through the music, which is why the first single was called Mars. Mm. Yeah. So what does make uh, Mario happy other than, you know, making the money and the accolades? What actually does make you happy? Yeah, man, traveling, um, eating. <laughs> yeah. you know writing watching movies chilling like you know i enjoy a little bit of everything you know but for me what makes me most happy is seeing my creations or my my creativity in the flesh mm. you know being able to take something that i just thought about whether it be a song or a lyric or a visual idea and like really seeing it manifest into the flesh like it's nothing like that for me you know um I think that makes me most happy because it shows me that I literally can do anything. Like, you know, and it's it's really just up to me and my efforts and, and how much time and energy I'm willing to put into it. You know, um, yeah. and being on the road, touring. I love touring. I love being on the road. I love performing in different cities, going back to cities I went to before to see like, uh, as my fan base grown is like, you know, mm -hmm. how do they connect with different songs? How, you know, it's just, it's an amazing experience. <laughs> So speaking of um, performing, you're putting on a huge virtual event for your fans on Valentine's Day. So can you tell us about that? The luxury of love. Well, first of all, before we get into that, I want to say that I recorded this record about eight months ago called Luxury Love. And it was supposed to make my EP um, closer to Mars, and it didn't make it. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put the record out. You know, I got like tons and tons of music that I want to put out. And I would say about three months ago, I was having this conversation with a couple of friends of mine about love versus the expression of love, right? And I think this concept of love is just a 
big thing to talk about right now because there's so much lack of it in the world right now, right? We see it all around us. It's just constant clashing of the titans, clashing between family and friends, competition, like everybody's racing to get, you know, but it's like the absence of love is so strong that it's like, I gotta put this record out. Like this record has to be, because it's not just about the music, it's about the concept, the luxury of love. The song is called Luxury Love. And one of the things that I think is, is kind of my driving point in the record is that not everybody has the luxury to love and the luxury to experience love, right? So it's like, mm -hmm. what you have to do to get to the point where you're actually loving yourself in a real way, the work that it actually takes is so underestimated. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much work that goes into that. So when you finally get to that point, it's a luxury. It's literally a luxury to be able to apply that to your life, to yourself and to the people you love and to somebody else you love. So that was the whole concept behind the song. And then I just wanted to kind of shape this experience around that. So when we talk about the luxury of love live, we're just talking about, you know, the, the concept of self-love, the concept of, you know, not everybody can do it and not everybody can receive it, but it's mm -hmm. something that we should be doing. Absolutely. This man, Mario, is the love guru, man. That's all I'm saying. We need nah, to have to I always say that. <laughs> I always say that. We need to drop the gems because people don't realize to actually love, you got to love yourself. And even in the Bible, it said, God said people have so many ways of loving. They use love and spread it then. They don't, they don't remember that you have the choice to love. So it's not falling in love, but you have the choice to love. So just hearing you drop them gems, just put that That's on my screen. But I got to tell y'all. I mean, what, what y'all think though? Because like, do you feel like, do y'all feel like love is like this, this, um, what is love to you, to you guys? I know it's different to everybody. Jasmine, what is love to you? I'm curious. Hmm. You got on, you looking royal. Mario. <laughs> Thank you. What is love to you? You know, for me at, at 24, it's just someone who is accepting of who I am and who is willing to grow with me. Um, mm. And I can help them as well. I think, you know, when it comes to love, it's just like, if we can help each other grow, mm. that's what it is mm. to me at 24. Now, when I'm 30, it may be something mm. totally different. Um, when I say the word not, love, <laughs> when, you say, when I say the word love, you think about someone giving it to you. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Gotcha. What about you, Jay? Out with the gyms. He's asking. <laughs> yeah, he's asking. I want to hear what the baby got to say to this before I get to what I got to get. Oh, to. I want to hear what the baby got to no, say. No, this is the, this is interesting. This is important. See, y'all, whatever I say, I already know Romeo and Anton are about to be on my head about it. But listen, <laughs> I'm just saying, I agree with Jazz. I think, especially because I'm young, it's kind of hard to be like definitively this is what it is because I feel like I haven't had enough experience in like relationships and dating and all that. But I think as of right now, I think it's someone who's willing to be with me on my best and worst days and how to help me go out of it and mm. kind of help me learn yeah. more about myself in the process, if that makes sense. Kind of like push me out of my comfort zone and push me to do better things that maybe I wouldn't do for myself. Yeah. I don't know mm. if that's like naive to think like, oh, it's like great. But Now, is that, would you, is, is, that, is that something that you're, when you go into that thinking, this is what I want. So is that something you go in thinking, this is what I'm willing to give as well? Or is oh, that something yeah, that you- 100%. I definitely want to make sure I can like help someone and make them the better person that I know they could be as well as mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Amy, remember, we got this recorded. So if you're not loving the right <laughs> way- <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, it's crazy. It's Look, crazy. Like, go ahead, go ahead, Romeo. They're telling me I got to get to this for you because you got a very big announcement for your fans that's watching right now. Absolutely. So tell them what's up before we- Yeah, move. so, absolutely. Well, listen, being that we are here live today, the show's in a couple of weeks, 2.14, Valentine's Day. I wanted to take this moment to give away some tickets to two fans, virtual tickets. A lot of people ask me like, yeah. Yo, I'm not gonna be able to make it to that show. I can't leave time I got this. This is the wrong that's out there. I'm like, yo, it's virtual. A lot of people didn't understand that it's a virtual show. So everybody who's already got your tickets, y'all know, but if you haven't, you can watch it from anywhere. You can watch it from home. 
if you got a, you just had a baby, you can be shake watching a baby and, and, and watching the show at the same time. Yeah, if you with your significant other, you can watch it with them. Um, if you're trying to get that significant other, you should purchase the ticket. And tell them you got it, you take them on a date. Why not? Right? Nah. Um, so, but today we're going to give away two tickets to fans. Uh, all you got to do is go on my live at Mario Worldwide right now and just tell me why you get you, you want the tickets. It's that simple. We want to pick two people. Okay. Hey. Mario, Listen, people like right. two tickets and a virtual meet and greet. So it's going down live on our show tonight. Like he said, go on his IG live right now. Um, we're Let's get it. And make sure you comment and tell us why you should win this virtual meet and greet with Mario himself. This man is a young legend. Like he said, I don't care if you just had a baby. The baby may be singing along with you. Hey, listen, the baby yeah. need to hear good music. I'm telling you, babies respond to good music too. And it's live. Come on, give that baby their first live performance. Exactly. Yeah, me and my baby, true. me and my baby will be there. Don't worry about it. Like I hear you <laughs> loud and clear. We will be there. <laughs> Mario, you are always good to your fans, man. I know earlier in the quarantine, you released your phone number to fans just to hit them wow. up. So, yes, let's, sir. How many girls have shot their shot at you since giving you their phone number? Man, you. I, I to be honest, this is the most humble way I can say it. Countless. The, the, most humble, the most humble way you can say it. <laughs> That's the most humble way I can say it. Countless. I can't, like, I'm not even going to try to count, but I can say this. Having had that experience with this self, like, you really get to know people on a whole other level. Like, I've had people tell me stories about things that I didn't even remember in ways that I've affected their life. And, and mm. just, like, some fans I do remember from shows 10 years ago. You know, it's the beautiful thing about technology is that you can connect with people. Uh, I'm gonna tell you that number right now, just in case there's any fans out there who want to connect with me on here. But like, it's it's amazing. I'm gonna show you all the messages right here. So it is a real thing. This is really my number. I'm really my text messages. Just so y'all know, it's not fake. The shit is really going up. So all you gotta do is text me four one zero. Have to be my number, of course. Seven zero nine seven four three one. But uh, yeah, it's fun on it. We having fun on that, man. There you have it, ladies. If you want to hey. talk to Mario, just hit him up. Yeah. Hit him up. <laughs> wow. I'm good. So I'm here for all my single ladies. Y'all know this. So oh, can you just can you describe your ideal woman for us? <sighs> my ideal woman. I don't think I have an ideal woman. You know, I think that, you know, I'm I'm dating right now. And I can say that everything I thought a relationship was supposed to be and supposed to like and you know supposed what was supposed to happen in a relationship has this has reshaped my whole understanding of a woman and what women a woman deserves and what a woman wants and how to treat a woman like you know I thought I knew everything you know but I think that the ideal woman for me is a woman who makes me helps to make me a better man because I have you know my own responsibilities right but the ideal woman for me is a woman that makes me, helps to make me a better man. And that's what's happening for me right now. So, you know, I have no complaints. And, uh, yeah, but ladies, I don't have an ideal woman because I've dated all types of women. You feel me? So it's like, so, it's just about so would you stuff. ever, would you ever date a fan <laughs> hey look that's a tough one that's a that's a tough one because it's like that we got to take a little break but don't go nowhere because Mario is sticking around around he the just saved me man gets appreciate you, bro. him and the tennis <laughs> valentine's day event the luxury of love live so go to his ig live right now and drop your comment to mario for your chance let's go pick it too fast let's get it only on five so baby <laughs> hey, come on Welcome back to the mix, y'all. We're back with the one and only Mr. Mario. So we're going to announce yeah. two tickets and virtual meet and greets to his upcoming virtual concert event really soon. But for now, we're going to get into some hot topics. Jazz, what you got for us, baby? All right, so I got one that involves Mario's home state of Maryland. In a judicial uh, opinion filed last month, the state of Maryland's highest court ruled that rap lyrics may be admitted in court as evidence of a defendant's guilt. Some have said that this wow. action is blatantly racist and that this decision can set a dangerous precedent for the hip hop community. 
So Mario, let's go to you first. Do you wow. think the artists should be punished for what they say in their lyrics? Yo, this is crazy. You know, I, I just feel like anything on the internet, you know, it's like the freedom of speech is being like really stripped away from us on a whole other level. And I think this is another level with that. But um, it, it's, it's two sides to it, you know, cause I feel like, I feel like this happened because certain people say certain things in records, you know, purposely to get, you know, to get people caught up or mm -hmm. a lot of social media or uh, what do you call them, bloggers create problems with other rap, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that just get the whole system involved in things that don't need to be involved in. I think it need to go back to what it used to be, real gangsters moving silence, period. Everything that happened in the street need to stay in the streets, ain't got nothing yeah. to do with, you know, the song, it need to go back to that. Like, I, I definitely don't feel that as though it's, it's fair, but it's never been fair for us, you know, mm. in the system. So we know that the system is completely broken. So it's only going to get worse if we don't, you know, stand up and fight for it. I definitely think it's something we should fight against for sure. Because it's like, you, you can't take away somebody's creativity of telling their story. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Like people use music as therapy. Yep. So for me, it's like you taking away someone's freedom right there, right there, like their way to eat. I mean, I agree. I was gonna say yeah, exact thing. Like that's how people express themselves. Like telling Picasso he can only paint a certain type of. Picture. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. About this is like, why can we make any movie? These actors be, you know, the total opposite of who they're playing. Look at Scarface. You know, he was acting to be. Exactly. He was acting in a violent way. So are we blaming that movie the same way we're blaming rap lyrics? But like Mario said, he hit a real point. They know who they're targeting in this. Yeah. 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 No, real talk. But all right, guys, it's time to announce the winner of Mario's giveaway. I've been waiting for it. So all know. right. So let's get it. <laughs> so the first name we'll go with right now. This is the Instagram at rise above it. Thirty one. You've won tickets. Mm -hmm. The luxury of love live. We will reach out to you. And the second name is Carmel. Thirty one. Wow, 31 is a lucky number. Mm. Like, so y'all want your tickets? <laughs> Luxury of Love Live going down 214. Um, like I said, I'm really excited about this show, man. It's going to be an incredible show. Definitely the best on be show on Valentine's Day. Ladies, all y'all should tune in. I'll make sure y'all get tickets because I want y'all to be there. Um. <laughs> oh. Fellas, wow. fellas, too. Yeah. Love love. <laughs> well, Mario, we want to thank you so much for getting in the mix with us today and doing that dope giveaway. You guys, make sure that you grab your tickets to his virtual concert, Luxury of Love, live, happening on Valentine's Day. Download his latest EP, Closer to Mars 2. And hey. thanks again, Mario. Thank y'all for having <laughs> me. Beautiful you, show. Mario. Thank you. Pleasure. So we, we got to take a quick break, you guys, but we'll be right back with more.